Hi everyone, in this video we will see helpful functions in JS to the sampler and bean shell sampler. So in bean shell sampler or JS to the sampler, sometimes we would require to override the uh, status uh, of your sampler like success or failure and sometimes we want to update the failure message and success message to your JS to the sampler and uh, and you want to calculate the, the uh, number of bytes sent to server and number of bytes received from the server so by default jsr tutor will not write this data so for that uh, what we have done is like so we have the uh, functions and we have gone through the generator documentation and uh, these are the helpful functions that we can use to override the existing uh, uh, default functionality of jsr tutor example if you this is the message so this is a text what i have uh, hard coded in in uh, uh jsr today sampler and and that's a java java language so if we, if you select the, some other programming language then uh, it will change slightly but all overall the content will be same so and i'm setting the length of the body size what i received from the server so once you get a server, once you get a response content from your request or something, what you process, you know, just search to the sampler. And if you want to see the length of that, uh, uh, length of that uh, transaction or length of that request or that, uh, that uh, step, what you executed in JSR 23. So this is the option. So here I'm selecting a text and dot length. So if you see that, so simple text to plain format, I'm getting a length. So I can use this and I can use this. So basically, I'm getting the length of the string here. So that will be set and as a byte, uh, a byte size of your response message. It should be showed in, in the response category. So if you run this, it will fail because I have overridden it. Uh, so but you will see the text here. And if you go to the sample, request you will have the body in size is 27 bytes okay so yeah so this will be shown here and there is a sample stat and uh, sample stat will we can use the sample so if you have some 10 to 15 steps in your repair in your sampler and if you want to calculate only specific response time for a specific test then we can use the sample start which will catch the actual timer of the transaction and sampler end Will calculate the response uh, stop the response time calculating so this will give you the exact time uh, to, to execute the steps in between the start end and sample start and sample end and the most important point to be noted here is we can use only one simple start sample start and one sample end on throughout your sample and this is the response data what we are uh, uh, sitting from setting uh, to the sampler so if you see here uh if you see here returning message is in there so sorry so if you see here returning simple uh, sample result so that is what we have using here sample result return so to override the response uh to override the response body uh response body we can use this function so which is called uh sample result dot set response data and it, it accepts a string so you need to pass the string value and uh, if you see that uh, response address so if you if i click on this request and go to the response address we got the response address here so if you want to override but overriding a response address so this is the option to override the response address and if you click on the if you want to override the request address so use this option simple header so i have added the value here so you can uh, add the uh, specify in the column and you can add the values so if you see this is simple headers and uh, going going to the center bytes so the center bytes will be absorbed in the center bytes will be absorbed in the uh, request here in the aggregate report it will help you the throughput to gather the throughput and uh, uh, sent bytes sent to the server so this is how we can sent bytes sent bytes and set bytes set bytes is used for uh, uh, number of i mean it will help you to uh, uh, 
received received bytes so i mean received bytes and the response body side so both include the same value and uh, if you see the response code i have overridden the response code here this time right if you go to sample result the sample result here is the response code what we mentioned here that was a 500 uh if you want to override you can still override it sometimes uh, if you override the response code it will not take 500 as a failure still if unless until you want make this variable set successfully is false so if you disable this if you disable this uh, disable this or comment this and run it again so your your request will get 500 response code but it will not consider as a fail unless until you keep this as any uh, false okay and if you see the other um, option so this is a response code message response code message so generally if you want to see the error message what error message you it was thrown so then you can use a specific uh, message here in the uh, set response message option so which i am using uh, returning invalid message so if you go to the response so it will return returning invalid message so we can set each and every field which are seen here and uh, request requested the request body and a response and response header so i have i have a, i have used few uh, options which which uh, which uh, i have override now and explain you so still we can override all the parameters in our request so request tab response tab sample uh, i hope this will help you thanks for listening